What's going on my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to the first episode of Jay's Tutorials. In the first episode, I wanted to show you guys something cool that I'm trying to build in my single player. It's the semi-auto fishing matic. Basically what this does is it automatically fishes, uh, semi-automatically. And I'm going to show you guys how it works here. So let's get to it. So first of all, you're going to step on this pressure plate. This thing's going to start going. And time it just right and throw your line out come on nope there we go and then everything will stop and just spam the right click button you can actually hold it down and watch a YouTube video and wait so when a fish bites it's gonna pop up boink and we get our fish so stay on your pressure plate for just a few minutes and then we can come over here and voila our raw fish appears into our beautiful little chest so it's a pretty sweet system um, unfortunately you cannot hide it completely um, I suppose you could if you want to make it 8 by 10 you might be able to shove these things back I believe um, I think that'll work uh, but it's much easier to just go ahead and uh, make the fishing like this so uh, I've tried to enclose it pretty well like this, and I've also used a little extra resource, and uh, I'll show you guys the more efficient way of building this, and then show you guys the extravagant, beautiful way of building this. So, let's get to it! Alright, so the first step in making your fishing system is you're going to need to build the actual contraption. So the whole thing is about a 7 by 10 area that you're going to need to clear out, and uh, then, of course, you're going to need some materials. So, 64 redstone should use be enough redstone to get you through the process. I didn't count out each little tiny bit because redstone's pretty easy to get. Uh, you're also going to need 64 of your favorite type of block, at the very least. Um, I'm going to show you what you need for your very basic uh, machine, um, which won't use any more than 64. But if you're going to want to build a room around it, um, then you're going to want more than 64 of your favorite block. Of course you can style it however you want. Don't need to use one block. Uh, but this is just our placement block. 3 to 10 hoppers will do ya. Uh, 3 is the very basic system. Um, that'll get you going. But uh, I use about 10 to make it a lot easier to collect. Um, 3 sticky pistons, 3 droppers. Again, you don't need these droppers. These drop sh droppers are actually optional. But they make the system easier. 2 redstone comparators. Two tripwire hooks, one string, one block of redstone, one fence, one redstone torch, a chest, two buckets of water. This will make your infinite water source. One pressure plate can be wooden or stone, and two of your favorite um, blocks that are unstacking. Okay, so let's get to this process then. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a pulse limiter, and uh, basically this is going to look a lot like a TS flip flop. However, uh, it is not a TS flip-flop. Uh, you're going to want to place down two of these little um, hoppers, and they need to be facing each other. And then go ahead and stick your fishing rods into them, and uh, you'll see that um, basically what's going to happen is this thing right here is going to flip back and forth, just like a TS flip-flop would. Um, and it's going to end up creating a nice, beautiful pulse. So put a redstone comparator at each end of these. Whenever one of these is full, it's going to send out a signal, which is just perfect, exactly what we want. Put uh, your placement blocks and then a redstone um, dust right next to it, just like this. That way you get a nice pulse. Same thing for the other side. And our pulse starts. Pretty sweet. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the pulse back to this first hopper. And then we're ready to go. So now we start the tripwire hook part. And uh, dig out three blocks. Um, first of all, you're going to place a placement uh, block right there. And then dig out three blocks from that. Put another placement block on the other side of that. And uh, I just double the string up so I can get the string up here. But um, that should do. And now whenever we plop right here, you'll see the pulse is going to stop which is exactly what we want. So from this block, we want to dig out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That should bring us to the end of this redstone. And then we're going to dig out three more blocks. One, two, three. Okay. 
From here you want to dig down one, and then we're going to be going from here over. So, your pressure plate is going to go here. Then you're going to dig down four right to here. Start placing your redstone around the side, and end up right there. Alright, redstone torch, going to go right there. As you guys can see, that stops the uh, pulse. As soon as we step on this pressure plate, that pulse is going to continue, which is exactly what we want. Alright, cleared out some space there. Now we're going to stick our sticky piston down here. That should be our last one. And then we're going to stick our fence right here. And now we've got our system running. Alright, for the maximum amount of uh, resource saving, you can actually just stop right here after you fill up your six spaces. Okay? You're going to fill up all of the water to right here. And you guys will see, water stops, comes back, all that is good. Alright, so I've gone ahead and started to test the system here. As you guys can see, everything's going great. Here we go. And we get a fish. Alright, so unlike our system when it's in full capacity, we're going to have to let this thing glide right down and then we can catch it. Um, I suppose if you really want to make it uh, more efficient for you and you just want to collect it in your inventory, one thing you could do is you could always turn on the system just like this, uh, collect what you got, and then you can go ahead and turn that off. However, that's not at all what I want to do. So let's get to step two. All right, time for step two. Step two is all about collection. So as you guys can see, I've emptied out this little box right here. This is, uh, I think, a four by five box. And uh, basically what I've done here is just made preparations to actually get our system up and running. So uh, this little block right here, just so you guys know, this is going to power the pistons um, for the fence that we had there. The reason why I got rid of that is because I wanted to... Or, get rid of the piston is because I need to put some blocks down here. So for this we need to work backwards. So I believe my little contraption started off with a chest right there. So I'm going to throw my chest right there and then we need to work backwards with our hoppers. And uh, now put our droppers. One, oops, two, three. Okay. So far so good. And then just, like I said, work backwards from here. So a little note on uh, less resource intensive version, a less resource intensive version rather, uh, is you can just have a, a little hopper right here. Uh, you're going to want to empty it though as soon as you possibly can because if you get five of some sort of variety in here, then you no longer have your storage. So this is probably the easiest way. Now, I have two hoppers right here. These are 100% optional. I've never had this happen, but I'm always afraid of having a fish actually like fly up and come into one of these. Not to mention it makes testing a lot easier when we throw something in there. So, anyways. Now you guys are going to power this. And uh, this little connection right here will go away as soon as we put a block here. Power that. And then we put a block there and power that okay so we've got our system built let's uh go ahead and test it so we'll throw it in here for whatever reason it won't go in there come on there we go before long it should end up in our little chest right up here there it is perfect okay so now that that system's done, we need to now kind of uh, rebuild our old system. Got rid of my sticky pistons for whatever reason. So I'll take those and then get myself my fences again. All right, so throw that down. And uh, then we need to cover up our area a little bit. And I'm not going to build the whole system like I did before, make it all pretty. But uh, that would be it, folks. I uh, just need to add one more bucket of water right here and we've got our system back beautiful beautiful and perfect all right you guys so now that we've built the contraption it's time to actually test it um, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick clip here of what happens when it glitches 
Okay, so now that we know that there is a glitch, uh, you can run some tests and find out what the reason is for that glitch. Uh, but it's purely mechanical. I think it gets stuck in that wall back there. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to time it correctly and throw our fishing rod out there. I've kind of figured, you know, if it's bobbing up and down, which ours does not look like it is, we'll see in a second here if it glitches, but um, if it bobs up and down, you won't, you will get a fish. So, should have one coming up soon. And we got a fishing rod out of it. Cool. And uh, you guys will see pops right in here so one thing about this machine that I want to talk about really quick and uh, I'm not exactly sure if that's a glitch um, but I think I know what it is uh, I absolutely know what it is um, one thing that you guys need to do is uh, when you get your fish just do a little jump and you should be good to go it gets stuck right in here and I think it's because of this being powered the hopper um, whenever this has a uh, is powered it sends out the item but when the hopper is powered it retracts the item in other words it won't let it come in so if you just do a jump like that then uh, the item will go into here not exactly the most uh, redstone efficient uh, but it works and it's a great 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 addition to have into your game uh, now this is completely customizable this little spot right here so if you wanted to you could have your system um, Pointing this way, all sorts of cool, fun stuff. The other thing that you could do is you could add, instead of a hopper, you could do another dropper. Um, in fact, in reality, you really could just make this entire system from this point on into a dropper system. Um, for me, it's much easier redstone-wise to keep it all hoppers because hoppers are self-sufficient, uh, meaning they don't need power to run. Um, just pure suction sucking into our beautiful little uh, chest here so that is the tutorial hope you guys enjoyed once again you can enclose this system in and uh, make it look really beautiful and pretty and all that good stuff hope you guys enjoyed hope you found it helpful if you guys have any questions um, not sure what uh, what's going on you have a little error or something um, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I will try and help you to my best of my abilities the original video um, that inspired this one showed me how to make a version of this is going to be in the description so make sure to check that out but uh, that's going to do it so until next time guys happy mining and crafting